Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren and today I'm going to make something a little different. I'm going to actually make some smoked sausage but I'm going to bacon wrap it and I'll put it in little bite sized chunks and then we're going to take that to a potluck tonight for church. This is the smoked sausage I made in one of my other videos. You can look that up and uh, homemade smoked sausage and what I'm going to do is because I don't want to overcook this uh, sausage when I throw it on the grill with the bacon is I'm going to actually sous vide the bacon and cook it down a little bit before we wrap this, uh, wrap the sausage in it. I'm going to throw it in the uh, GMC 680 sous vide pot at 155 for about an hour. And all that's going to do is cook it, par cook it a little bit just so that it renders some of the fat so that uh, we don't have to keep it all as long on the smoker so that the smoked sausage doesn't dry out and lose all its fat and juice in that. So. I'm going to go ahead and take the bacon out of the store packaging just because I don't want the paper in there to affect the bacon um, with the heat from the sous vide. I don't want that to deteriorate and kind of mess up the bacon. So I'm going to go ahead and remove both of these packs and put them in the uh, gallon size Ziploc bag and sous vide them for about an hour. So that's what we're going to do to get started. See you guys back. a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prep the sausage and all I'm really going to do is just cut it up into like uh, two inch bite size And chunks. then what we're going to do when we get the bacon on it, we're going to coat it in the uh, running wild pork candy, the maple bourbon, maple sugar bourbon flavor. So that's what we're going to rub this down with and then we're going to throw it on the smoker. So it's a pretty easy recipe. You can use this with any kind of sausage. You can any kind of store-bought smoked sausage, kielbasa, um, anything like that, you can, any kind of sausage. Just wrap it in bacon, throw it on the smoker, uh, put a nice rub on it, and then we're going to throw it in the uh, Gourmet multi-cooker and use it as a crock pot to keep it all warm. Uh, we're gonna, of course, we're going to use toothpicks to hold the bacon on so it doesn't fall off. And then might even just put a little bit, you can always put a little bit of barbecue sauce on them, kind of toss it up in there. So and that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to prep these sausages, like I said, about, about maybe a little shy of two inches, just kind of make it even. So I'm kind of trying to make them as even bite size. Pulled out of the sous vide and it kind of looks a little sad. But you can see some of that fat's rendered down. So and what I'm going to do is just going to take some of it out. I'm just going to wrap one or two of these to show you. And you can see it's uh, not cooked too much. Just par cooked it. And like I said, we're just doing that so that we can, uh, we don't have to wait as long on the smoker for it to crisp up so the sausage doesn't dry out. So what I'm going to do, I'm pretty much just going to cut it in half and then wrap them around the piece of sausage. So I'll just kind of show you this one here. Just kind of cut it right in half, kind of fold it over so that it's there. We're going to take our toothpick and just kind of push it all the way through so it holds that in place. And we're going to throw them on this rack. And then when we're all done wrapping them up, we're going to throw some of this uh, running wild pork candy maple bourbon on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these rest of these wrapped up. At all, I got these all wrapped out. and I ran out of bacon, so I couldn't wrap all of them. So I've got a good number of them though wrapped in bacon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put some rub on these bacon wrapped ones. And I'm going to toss some rub on these too and just toss them in the, on the grill. And we'll throw them in the cooker with them. So some people get gypped without getting any bacon, but oh well. They'll still like the sausage. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rub on here. Like I said, it's a running wild maple bourbon pork candy. And our grill is up to temp and the smoke is rolling pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and flip these over and do the other side so we get a good even coating of the rub on both sides. And then I'll see you again when I throw these on the grill. The Kamado Joe, Big Joe's sitting right at 375, eh, maybe 365. It's 
close enough. So I want to get these on. Like I said, we're not going to be really cooking these a lot. Well, so here's what I'll do with that. Put those on the bottom. crisping up that bacon. So I will leave those in. I'll check them in about a half hour and see how they're in doing. About 35, 40 minutes. And I hear the bacon sizzling in there. You can hear that fat sizzling. And we're going to go ahead and take these off because it's about time for us to get ready to go to church. I'm going to take this uh, Extended rack off so you guys can see what it looks like. Let's get close up there. So they crisped up pretty good. And I'm going to take them off real quick. And then we're going to throw them in the uh, multi cooker to just stay warm. I'm going to toss some sauce in it and then uh, we'll take them to the pot. There you have it, guys. They are really crispy. And the sausage is not dried out. So what I'm going to do with these now, like I said, is throw them in the multi-cooker. And I'm going to toss them in the, just a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. Matter of fact, I'll just get a little bit of that on my fork. And let me grab one of the small ones here. Just put a little sauce on it and take a bite so you guys can see that. See how they... Gorgeous they look. Mm -mm -mm. Nice and bacony and smoky. Mm-hmm. Still hot too. But yep, the uh, sausage didn't get dried out, so par cooking that bacon really helped out. Now it's nice and it's nice and crispy. That rub. Makes it nice and sweet. And uh, I'm going to have the rest of that as soon as I get off camera. But you should try this out, guys. I know a lot of people do bacon wrap meatballs and stuff like that. But smoked sausage works just as well. And um, this par cook in the bacon will work on several different things. If you ever do bacon wrapped shrimp, it'll make it so you don't have to uh, overcook the shrimp. You cook that bacon, you know, get that bacon cooked a little bit before you wrap the shrimp in it and throw it on the grill. It'll actually make it so your shrimp is not really overcooked. So try it out. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll and see you again in the next product. video. Okay, I'll all sauce it up. And I'm just going to put the top on until we're ready to go. See you guys next time.